Hey, what's up? My name is Harry. Thanks for visiting today. Today I'm going to share with you my workflow for shooting with the Canon C200 and shooting the Canon RAW Light Kodak that comes with it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first thing I do is set up my camera properly. So let's jump into the menu here and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so we go into the menu here and you would go and go to the second menu item there right there and you click on HDR LUT so click on that now we scroll up to video LUT, it says LUT off so click on that and you want to just scroll to the right one and it'll say BT709 that's the same as Rec709 so we click on that and that's set and then you get out of the menu so now you'll see over here it says LUT and that's showing that the LUT is applied the lookup table is applied to the monitor. So if I go over here, I can turn it off and on and you can see the difference. So now it's being shown what the footage is going to look like with that LUT on it. Now the C200 is still going to shoot in C-Log2, but this is going to give you what it's going to look like after. So that's the first step in my workflow. It really saves me lots of time. I can adjust everything. I, I'm like, okay, that's what it's gonna look like. So after this, I go out and shoot. And then after that, I bring it into the computer. So let's go to the computer now and I'll show you that part of the game. So here I am at the computer. I'm in DaVinci Resolve. It's a great program for video editing, color grading. Color grading. It's really good and it's free. So check it out if you haven't. Anyways, I'm here and I'll show you what I do um, to process these Canon RAW files. So what I do is first I put the card in the card reader and I'm gonna read off of that. I'm not gonna import any of the files onto the computer. So you can see up here, I'm in media. So I go to my card here and I've got all these files from a home that I shot recently so i'm going to drag this in and drag all these home files in it's populating great now i'm going to go to edit and i'm going to create a new timeline just call it timeline one i'm going to now select all the files from the home and i'm going to go insert clips to timeline boom everything's in there so you can see this is the home i shot recently and like I said, I, I prefer to shoot raw because the image quality is just so much better. But there's a couple of things you got to do and a couple of things way to handle it because I don't save the raw files. They're just too big. I don't need that for this kind of work. So the first thing I'm going to do is select everything here and up in the inspector, I'm going to, I should first say the timeline I created was a 1080p timeline. I don't usually export anything 4k because everything's going on YouTube get that out of the way first so now I've selected everything I just go I go to scaling here and I fill all I take all the clips and I fill proportionally to the screen to the timeline that's the first thing then now that's that's done I can go over to color now this is where I'll show you how quick it goes. So most of this stuff is shot indoors. You can see the timeline here. It's all indoors footage. But what I like to do is I'll select all the clips. I'll create a new clip, a new group, sorry. You create a new group. And then this is where the magic happens. I've got my grade all set up as a power grade. You can see here under gallery, power grades. So what, if you hover it over, you can see what it's starting to do. So I double click and that populates the node tree over here with everything I need. Now for this, there's a couple of things I'll explain. Um, I like to apply noise reduction onto my C200 stuff because it adds noise. There's noise in the raw file, but you just add a little noise reduction at the beginning. Then you add your LUT here, which is the, I'll show you the LUT. It's a Canon, it's the C-Log2 to Rec. 709 LUT. Now remember when we set up the camera, we set it, the LUT up as Rec. 709 BT709. 
so I can see what's gonna what it's gonna look at look like. So I've applied that LUT here already in my power grade. Now this is what the footage is gonna look like. You can see right here, as you go into this house, this is what it's looking like. And then if I wanna do, and because it's in a group, I've applied this grade, all these settings to all the clips at once. Now if I don't have any outdoor clips, the outdoor clips I wouldn't apply noise reduction because for C200, it's, I usually shoot lower than 400 ISO outside and there's no noise in the darks. It, this is all noise in the darks and general footage, but so I've got my LUT and I apply a little bit of sharpening at the end to the footage. And what I do for that, I go into Blur and to sharpen in DaVinci Resolve, you lower the radius a bit. So I've lowered it from 50 to 47 and that just sharpens the footage just really nice. Creates it's beautiful. And then that's it. Now I might scroll through the whole, I might go through each clip and have a look quickly. Like I'll bring up my waveform and I'll select the node that says primaries here. You can see there's no color correction. This is where I'm going to, if I would, I, I would, if I wanted to do it to the raw files, I could but I'm still going to export it as a really good file, as a 10-bit 422 ProRes file. So there's lots of room for grading. So I could go through all the files if I wanted to and have a look. You know, I shot all this with the LUT on, so, you know, it's going to be pretty good. And, like, I might scroll through and look at the waveforms, and if things are really crushed, if there's blacks or highlights clipping, blah, 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 I might go through it. But I'm not going to do that. So now, now all I do, I'll close my waveforms, I'll go to the delivery tab, and I'm going to select ProRes 422LT. Now this is going to create a ProRes 422 file that's about the four, a fourth or a fifth the size of the RAW file, but it's going to be, still be really great for working with, 10-bit. And I'm just going to use the settings here, the default settings here and I'm going to go individual clips I'm going to find where I'm going to export it to and that's it then I'm going to run it and then I'll go get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and I'll come back in a bit and it'll be all done and you get really great gradable small file size ProRes files that you work with and nothing's come off the card but you get all the sharpness, the great dynamic range, and all that stuff from the camera. And that's it. It's like really quick. Like once I once I get the files in, I'll just go boom, 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 and within like a minute or two, I'm exporting. Grab my coffee, come back, 15, 20 minutes, everything spit out, and then I can start editing. And that's it. And then I don't have to deal with the huge raw files. So anyways, hopefully that helped you. Um, it took a while for me to figure that out. Uh, but hopefully it helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.